Hello guys, welcome to another exciting tutorial of graphic design. Today I'm going to show you how to design this beautiful palm logo. Today you will learn so some useful tips and tricks in Adobe Illustrator. So let's get started. First create a new document, click on the file, click on the new and use this size for your document. I'll, I already created new document. So. Those are two color codes that I will use for this logo. I will type the color codes in video description. So let's get started. First click on the ellipse tool, hold shift and make ellipse. Use this blue for this first ellipse. And now make another ellipse. Hold shift a little bit smaller and use this color and put this ellipse into this center. Make a little bit bigger. A little bit bigger. <laughs> nice good. Now we need to convert image, pan image to the vector. This is useful trick. I will put the link of the image in the video description and you can download it. Now when you download the image, open the folder and just drag the image into the illustrator like this. Now we need to convert this image into vector file. You will see right here it says image trace, click on image trace and click and span. Now, now, now this is image is converted to the vector file. Now go to the edit, go to the object and click on group. Let's zoom a little bit. This I will use. Now click on the rectangle and delete. I will use this palm for my for my logo. You can choose another if you want. I will delete this. I don't need this anymore. And select this palm. Go to object. Go to the group. Now click on the palm and hold shift and make it a little bit bigger. And drag this palm right here. Make a little bit bigger more. Just a second. Now we need to delete this white parts. So click on the pounds, go to the object, go to the group, and delete these white parts from the pound. That looks good. Now click again on this pound, hold shift, and click on these birds. Now go to the object and click group. Now click again on this file and click on a product tool and click on this blue surface and now we have much better logo. So we need one more picture to convert. I will put this link of this image into video description also and when you download that image just drag the image into the Adobe Illustrator. Now now we need to make ellipse just zoom really, and hold shift and make ellipse like this without stroke without fill and drag this right here. This this ellipse must be smaller than this picture. Now select both picture and object and go right click and make clipping mask. Now we have this great object that we will use for this logo. 
Um, on zoom a little bit and hold shift and make a little bigger now go to the windows and choose transparency click on the transparency and go to the opacity and change to 20% now move this object right here and we need to connect these two ellipses like this move, 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 move. Now it looks much better. Also, you can change your opacity like this, maybe 40% if you want. If you want 30%, I think that is 30 is the best, maybe. You choose. Now it's time to make some text. Now choose again ellipse tool. And make ellipse hold shift and make the ellipse like this. And move ellipse right here. Now we need a little bit bigger ellipse. Let's see how it looks now. Ah, it looks great. Maybe a little bit more. Hold shift and you do this. And move this right here. Let's see how it looks. And go to edit, copy, edit, paste because we need this. We need two ellipses for this. So move this right here. You can put stroke right now. And click on this ellipse. And go to the type tool and choose type on the path tool and click on this click on this ellipse go to the font size and choose 24 maybe 36 is better and type I will type beach beach palms you can type whatever you want maybe a little bit bigger font mark this 14 now it's better and now click and this is look this you have right here a line when you can move You see, you can move your text, whatever you want. Now, now it's good. And move this right here. Sorry, we need first to color this text. Click on the beach pound, mark beach pounds. Go to the A dropper tool and click and choose this color for this text. Now you can choose color, different color if you want, and put right here. Now it feels good. My battery is low. So click on this ellipse and go to the fill and click known. Now click on the type on path tool and do again like last time and type beach sorry 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 beach resort
we should type here blue palms so we remove this right here and type blue palms sorry for that I forget now click on this and drag this to the bottom like this you see how it looks now now click on this object and mark this letters just move and choose this color again click on the type tool mark I have all right here let's watch this then Let's see how it looks now. Also here. Now move. Put this in the into the center. Maybe a little bit more. Right here. Now our logo is almost done. Don't forget click on this and go to the object and click expand click OK now these letters are on this surface click do this again go to the object expand and click OK now it looks great now select all like this go to object go to the group we need only to make cool background. Now I will delete this and move this right here. Now click on the rectangle tool and make rectangle outside this background in, uh, in Adobe Illustrator like this. Now click on the gradient tool if you don't have a gradient go to the windows and choose find gradient right here now click on the gradient and click on the swatches if you don't have swatches go to the windows and click on swatches now I will use two colors for this, sorry, I need to separate these two parts. Windows. Now, choose this gradient. Click and choose color. Let's see black and click on this part gradient slider and choose blue color I will give you a color code in the video description and now click on the radial let's see make it a little bit like this and Click, right click on the mouse, arrange, send to back. Now our logo is finished, it looks cool, good and unique. And thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe because I upload every week new videos. Goodbye.